She's processing the situation. Oh my God. Camera, camera, I need camera. Today we are searching for an answer to a very important question and that is, can tarantula swim? So I have received a post on Instagram, a uh, shout out to Joe that sent me the post. Uh, the post says this, Apparently, tarantulas have a thick layer of hydrophobic hairs on their legs that repel water, allowing them to walk on water without sinking. Mm. Uh, they can also move their legs very quickly to create a surface tension and avoid breaking the water surface. Nowhere is safe. Obviously, that is clearly just an overdramatic post that is trying to play with people's arachnophobia. But is there more to it? That's the question. Because even though the picture in the post clearly looks, I don't know, fake, but it doesn't look right, I have seen a video a while ago of Avicularia uh, swimming on the water. Even though it was more like wiggling its legs while floating, it definitely appeared that that spider was able to swim. I'm not really sure if every tarantula is able to swim, but the fact that hairs are hydrophobic is actually true. Let me show you. Here I have a nice mold of Brachypelma. Um, I think it's Brachypelma behmei. It is nice mold and look what will happen when I drop a bit of water on its legs. Look at this. You see the legs are, are not really getting wet. You can even observe how droplets of water are actually floating on the hairs. It is actually mind-boggling to see, right? You know what? I should do a slow motion of that. But I need a bit more light. This will be enough. Okay, let's go. Hopefully we could see what, what is happening. Let me just check. Oh man, this slow motion is awesome! <laughs> you can see how Basically, drops are breaking into smaller drops when they when they strike uh, hairs on the legs. <laughs> that was amazing. I will also do it with macro lens. It is kind of hard to get it right. Ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> okay, man, this looks awesome. <laughs> Like some sort of magic, right? It just repels water like it's nothing. Oh, what a start of a video this is. I didn't even plan to record the slow motions like this. It just hit me now while recording this video. So sweet, sweet, sweet. I'm gonna fill the bucket with water now and you will see what will happen when I drop the malt inside first. By the way, now I remembered. I said in last video that I am... Too much noise coming from this. I said in the last video that I'm coming to Prague to Živa Exotica Expo, uh, that is this Saturday, but unfortunately I didn't get the table, so therefore I won't be going. There are prioritizing exhibitors with more interesting offer. Well, this was awkward. <laughs> My camera fell. <laughs> all good? Yeah, it looks like everything is all right. Okay, uh, they are prioritizing exhibitors with a uh, more interesting offer. And I'm only selling uh, enclosures and some couple of tarantulas. So it is not super interesting offer, but I sent them an email like a month ago explaining that I have a YouTube channel and that there is a lot of people that, a lot of my subscribers that would like to come to their expo to meet me and see me and meet me in person, take a picture and all that stuff. But unfortunately, I never received the reply, so I guess that they don't care about it. Maybe organizers don't like YouTubers, or I would be like an unwanted competition to someone that is selling terrariums over there. I don't really know, but unfortunately, I discovered that I didn't receive the table. So I won't be going there, but next Sunday I'm coming to uh, Maribor in Slovenia to Slow Exo. The place is sold out, but I got the table, and after that, I'm thinking about coming to Ham in Germany in January, February, March, April, May, June. I think it's June, the sixth month. I am seriously considering that now. Hopefully I can get a table over there. And I know that there is a lot of people in Germany that are watching me and would like to come and meet me. Also, that is one of the, I believe, one of the biggest expos in Europe. That should be a great place to sell enclosures. Now, let's get back to this. Observe what will happen when I drop the 
mold in the water. <laughs> yeah, it is floating on the water just like in that picture. You see how legs are just repelling water and preventing mold from sinking. So they float like this for sure, but I'm not sure if that will be the case with live terrestrial tarantula like this one or some old world tarantula that got like a bit less hairs than these brachypelmas. And look, when I pull the mold out of the water, it isn't wet. There is not a single drop of water on the mold. Magic! Oh, but look, the carapace also floats and it doesn't get wet. But you see from the inside, this gets wet. <laughs> Well, the top doesn't, but you know, there are tiny, tiny hairs on the carapace, so that also explains it. Tarantulas are just so fascinating, right? But what I wanted to say in that video with swimming tarantula, that was some avicularia, and you know, avicularias are extra hairy, so not just extra hairy, they are also arboreal, so they are a bit lighter, so I'm not surprised that they can float easily. But some heavy terrestrial tarantula, I don't know if hairs are, are enough to hold them on the water. Let's try it out. <laughs> I want to take the actual Brachypelma behmei. You see her, that was her mold. But first I want to start with something small. So I mean smaller. So I'm gonna bring one terrestrial that is not as large. Like this Sericopelma, for example. I'm not sure how should I actually do it. I can't just drop her inside. Maybe I should take like a, a piece of flat cork bark because cork bark floats on the water and then I will put tarantula on the cork bark and try to coax her in the water. We will see what will happen. <laughs> yeah, that could work out. And for the last tarantula we will actually take the Terraforza blonde male and see what will happen when we put him into water. Oh. Although that depends how successful this will be. Because if this link doesn't float, then there is no way that the Blondino will float. I'm gonna mount camera here above the water. Hopefully it won't fall down. Okay, it holds. Let's get this in place like that. And grab the tarantula. This will be so interesting. Okay, there we go. Tarantula on a floating raft. Oh, what is happening? Oh, look! <laughs> what is she doing? She's... Camera, camera, I need camera! Look at this! Guys, tarantulas can swim! And they swim really, really good! <laughs> this is crazy, look! Come here! Come here, girl! Oh! Go on the cork bark! Yeah, just hold on to cork bark. That is a raft. <laughs> Here you go, girl. This is your enclosure. You did an awesome job. Okay, 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 okay. Come on, in you go. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Uh, honestly, I expected her to float, but I didn't expect that she will do it so graciously and without an ease. She was just like, went for it straight without a problem. Uh, what I expected, I expected that she will go around the cork bark and under it because if you remember I had a Hysterocrates gigas in an enclosure with a water section. There was a malfunction and the water from the water section was entering the land part of the enclosure. The bottom was filling up in a process filling up the tunnel of Hysterocrates gigas and she was just walking through that water clock tunnel without any problem. So I expected that she will just go under the cork bark and hang under the water, but apparently she just decided to go for a swim. <laughs> Should we take the avicularia? Yeah, I definitely want to try out with avicularia before we take the bigger tarantulas. All right, getting her out was pretty easy. I actually want to try out something else. There are holes on the bottom. So if I do something like... Mm -hmm. Okay, she's definitely moving away of the water. Oh, you see that what I'm talking about? They have the ability to just walk on the... Oh, and <laughs> Look at this. Is she like steering? think that she knows what she's doing. She definitely knows what she's doing. How come I have never seen anyone do a video like this? This is... My mind is blown. 
even though she never had any interaction with body of water she floated and swam with an ease this is incredible i'm gonna take her back to her enclosure oh is she i thought that she will jump instead she's just like webbing or <laughs> something like that i don't know she's like what the hell just happened but it doesn't really seem like they care it's not like they are panicking oh what is your intention girl Okay, let me take her to her enclosure. Great success. Great success. Let's take the Brachypela and Behmei now, huh? Or should we first actually test it with some Asian one? Because as I said, they have a bit less hairs on them. So maybe there will be a different result. But which Asian tarantula? Maybe, maybe one Pezzoteria Metallica. But you know that I don't really want to be careless with old world. Like I, I was now with that Avicularia. Yeah. Here is one Metallica. Let's do the same thing. Bam, ba -dum, ba -dum. But I will just let this float away. Oh. <laughs> She's processing the situation as the bottle is sinking slowly. <laughs> okay, okay. What will you do now? Oh, I could see that she, she actually floated for the second and I hit this stupid reflection. This light is killing me. But look at this. She's now basically submerged or not not actually fully submerged but see now she is submerged and it is like nothing is happening she's not panicking she doesn't care about it and you can see that she's actually covered all that shiny stuff is actually air pockets of air that is holding on her on her hairs it is a scuba diving tarantula no, 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 no. I'm trying to open the, the cap so she can go out like... <laughs> now I really wonder how long she would just stay like that inside. She can clearly breathe that air that is stuck on her hairs. But you see, she can't hold on to the plastic, the wet plastic. Come on, girl. can do it like that. Whoa. <laughs> she grabbed my... Damn. That was unfortunate. First she grabbed my tweezers and then she just climbed without a problem. Okay, even though the footage was out of focus, you can clearly see that pokies can also float without a problem. So it is the same thing. <laughs> now let's get Brahipelma. Um, actually that is impossible without destroying her hide. And I don't really want to do that. She went inside and I can't really get her now. So instead of her, Let's get Sashenka, huh? She is nice, usually. <laughs> hey Sashenka, how you doing? I think that I can get her on my hand. Yeah, she is a sweetheart. Now I can directly submerge her from my hand. And that will be actually super easy. Oh no, no. Oh, and her grip is so strong. Girl, I need your cooperation. Mm -hmm. Let's do this again like this yeah. <laughs> she's still holding on to me but look look at those pockets of air and when we get her out completely dry submerged completely dry submerged completely dry this is amazing tarantulas are just amazing but can we get her to swim that's the question. She doesn't really want to let go of me. Look how she's holding on with her claws. You can see how they are like pulling my skin, right? Yeah, she got a lot of grip with that. <laughs> Whoop. <laughs> they look so funny when they are submerged like this. Okay, I will take Sashenka to her enclosure and then we will take Blondino, the Terrafosa Blondie. The biggest tarantula in the world, you know? Okay, I got him in the box. Let's see how we will actually do this now. You know what? I'll just get him to go on the lead and then I'll just do this. <laughs> he was actually struggling. You could see how he was struggling because he's so heavy and you could see that he wasn't floating as well as the others, but he was still floating. I should 
check the footage just, just a second since he wasn't as gracious in the water as other tarantulas i tried to get him out as fast as i could but also it appeared that he was swimming let me just just a second <laughs> it appears that he's actually able to reached the bottom with his legs so he was appeared to be afloat because of that but if this was deeper i think that he would actually sink hmm. i guess we will never know that but this video was definitely an eye-opening for me even though it seemed like a super simple question and a bit dumb i still think that we actually learned something from this video at least i did so I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, thumbs it up and comment something. If you want to support this channel and more, there's a Patreon page and a web shop, all linked in the description. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe up for a Monday. So see you again soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>